Hi. Hello once again. Let's see if we can get this deck doing like this. I was supposed to have a, I was supposed to have live stream. First one messed up. Went to another one, and it messed up. It won't, it won't quit jumping. I don't know what's going on. The live feed must have been long messed up today on my system. So, hang on just a second. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. But I'm having to pre-record this video. But today is Thursday, May 27th. So this is day of video. Sorry I had to record a day of video. I wanted to do it live. But, but today is my one-year YouTube anniversary. And to commemorate the YouTube anniversary, I pulled out my birthday outfit. I bought this and the shirt. Did I bought the shirt and I found the hat. So I had to buy, I had to buy both of them. But I wore this hat and this shirt on my trip last month, at my, my birthday trip when I went to Nashville. This is the hat and shirt. I wore it. I left at 2 o'clock on that Saturday. And I didn't take it off till I got back home. What? 4 o'clock the next afternoon? I couldn't help it. I had, to, I had to wear it that long. Because I had no way of... Hey, come in. I got ants. Around this little spot here. I probably messed them up when I didn't realize it. But... How are you doing out there? Sorry about not having the live stream like I said I would. But things happen, and I couldn't get it live. So, hey, it's live on day of. This is as live as you're going to get it. Maybe pre-recorded, but, hey. I hope you understand having to wait so long to get it for today. But, but like I said, today is Thursday, May 27th. 2021, and I started posting videos last year, March 27th, or May 27th, 2020. So, I hope you enjoy my 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 outfit. I pulled it out special. I had to I had to wash it this morning. I put I put my load of clothes on eight o'clock this morning, or about seven thirty eight o'clock. Then I had to wait till eight thirty, nine o'clock, before they finally got done, because I had to run it twice in, my, in a dryer cycle. But it's to be expected. The dryer does that sometimes. Sometimes it'll dry through one, one, one time, and sometimes you got to put it back in and do it again, run it again. But, but this is the same exact outfit I got on. It's what I had on the when I went on my trip. To Nashville. So, it's unbelievable that I found a shirt. The hat went along with the shirt. <laughs> but, hope you understand. Today is video number two of year, starting year two. But it's, it's daily number uh, 367. Excuse me, sorry about that. But we're going to be talking about never too late. Let's just get right on into the video. I'll get this thing done and I'll try to talk a little bit before I end it. So. But we're going to be start with Luke chapter 23 verses 42 and 43. And which says, And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in their life. And that's talking to the thief on the cross. You had the two thieves on the cross on either side of, of Christ, either side of Jesus. And then the one says, remember me in paradise. Or remember me when you come into your kingdom. He, and then Jesus forgave him right there. You say, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. So, I just, I changed my angle a little bit. I don't know what was wrong with the feed, but usually there ain't no problem with the live feed, but today it was a problem. But, 
It's just go on, push that to the side. I done deleted them. So you're not even going to work. It's not even going to see them. So I wish I could have got my got the picture that I did for the thumbnail. But I couldn't get it to come up to save it. So maybe somewhere in here I can get it to pop up with the thumbnail. But oh well. So one of the two thieves, here we go. One of the two thieves on the cross continued in unbelief right until the time he died. Luke 23:39. But the second repented and believed unto salvation. So the one assures us that no one needs to spare, since it's always possible to accept Christ at any time before death. All it takes is just a few seconds for repentance, and you and you are forgiven, and you go to heaven. That's all it takes. But just don't wait long. Don't take too long to do it. Don't wait right up to death to do it. Do it when you feel the time that if your heart is so heavy, do it then and your heart will be lightened. All the burdens on your heart will be taken away. <laughs> so the other warns us, on the other hand, that no one should presume, no one should presume, Long continued rebellion against God is likely to become so fixed in one's character that sincere repentance may become impossible. So the repentant thief beholding Christ and hearing the first of the seven so-called words from the cross, Luke 23:34, came to believe that Jesus truly was Lord and that he could indeed grant forgiveness and salvation. So the, and the, the repentant thief, which is the one that didn't, had no opportunity to be baptized, to change his lifestyle, or to do anything what, whatever except repent. Believe on Christ and confess his faith. Romans 10, 9 and 10. And that was sufficient. So both thieves would die that day, and the soul of the unrepentant thief would soon descend into hell, or Hades, as they put it, there to await condemnation at a future judgment day. The other, because of his trust in Christ, would go with him to paradise. So the tragedy is for far too many people assuring themselves that it's never too late, keep waiting until it becomes forever too late. You wait too long, and it will be too late. Because you never know when you're going to die. You never know when you're going to die. And just before doing this, I heard that there was a, a car accident here in Lake County. Um, or somewhere here in Lake County. And there was a fatality in the thing. So please stop and say a prayer for the families. Um... Families affected by that fatality. May they may they find peace and comfort in the loss of the loved one. So right there, just hope the person was saved. So hope the person hope that person that that died did, didn't wait too long to get saved. Hope he was set, hope that person was saved, and when he got killed, he goes to, he goes to heaven. And be in heaven waiting for his loved ones when they come. So Proverbs twenty seven one boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So if you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, go ahead and get your your life right with God. Before it is forever too late. But the overwhelming majority of people who come to trust in Christ for salvation do so when they're young. That's what happened with, with my, yours truly. 
I got saved when I was young because of Easter. So Easter, basically, Easter would, would, is considered my spiritual birthday. So every time we celebrate Easter, I celebrate another another spiritual birthday. And then I have my earthly, my bodily birthday every April. So, so whenever Easter falls, and in some years Easter will fall on the same weekend as my birthday. So I get to celebrate both birthdays in the same weekend. <laughs> because the year I was born, I was born on Saturday, and Easter was on Sunday. <laughs> so I turned out to be an Easter baby that year. Because the way I was born, I was an Easter baby. But I do not remember what year I was, what age I was. I know I was, what, first, second grade, something like that. All I remember is going to an Easter program at the the city First Baptist Church of Leesburg, deciding to do that. Then the next week during uh, Bible Club, Word of Life, at that time, our, our my church had the Word of Life clubs, which I went to Word of Life Bible Institute, but we had Word of Life youth clubs, and I told them what happened. I told my leaders what happened, and they pulled me to the side and made sure, and made sure that I knew what I was, what I was saying. Just to, they're not condemning me. They were just making sure that I knew what I was doing. So, but I, yeah, I think I was like first, second. I think I was what nine. I want to say in somewhere between seven, eight, or nine. Somewhere in one of those ages that that I got got I got saved that that year. But but it was Easter that caused it because I went to a program. It touched my heart. God told me to do it now. It'll forever change your life. You can live your life for me, but you won't have to worry about it. You still got things to worry about, but but very few come to the Lord when they are old or about to die. And Second Corinthians six two says, "Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation." Amen. Do it now, people. Do it now, or you'll regret it forever. Thank you. That's all I have for this today. Sorry for this video being late, posted late, but as you're watching it now, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. But once again, this is your Daily Devo for Thursday, May 27, 2021. And it's video number 366 and number two of year two. And like I said, it was never too late in Luke 23, 42, and 43. I wanted to go ahead and get it in. I didn't I didn't actually do that, but tomorrow for Friday, May 28, 2021, we're going to and video number 368 and video three of year two. We're going to be talking about a little flock. I'll be getting that in just a few minutes after I get done with this one. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see it tomorrow. But we're going to start off with Luke chapter 12, verse number 32. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll be getting that in just a few minutes. Sorry again for not doing my live stream, but I had some other things planned for it. But something happened with the, the live feed was not working right, and I just... I pushed it aside and said, hey, just go ahead and record the video, then turn around and post it. So if you're watching this, it's posted. So right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the video, I'm going to go do what I have to do, and I'm going to get it, I'm going to 
get it uploading, and then I'll come back and start the rest of these, get these rest of these videos, start working on these other videos for the rest of the week. And I hope to get my new book in the next few days. Summer, maybe tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow or, or Saturday, I should have the new book. I received something from the from the organization, but it wasn't the book. It was just some some kind of letter asking for support if if available. But, but like I said, thank you. I love you and I appreciate you. Sorry for it not being live, but you understand what's going through. The live feed was not hectic today. And this is Thursday, by the way. Now, tomorrow's video, you'll see, will be the same place. I'm going to get, after I get everything, get it uploading, then I'll go ahead and jump on and try to get some of these others recorded for the, finish this book out for the month. So, with that said, peace out until tomorrow, everybody. All right. Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Sorry again for the late video. But but come back tomorrow for another happy Friday once again. And have a blessed, blessed weekend upcoming. Finish out the month of May. Monday is the last day of May. We're going into June. Summers are coming. Ha! Well, summer's already here, basically. No, wait a minute. Summer don't officially start until June, the middle of June. So. But summer's already here. You can say, when we hit Memorial Day Monday, summer's here. Usually summer starts Memorial Day. Ofi not officially, but most of the schools are already out for thing. And then we've got graduations this coming weekend, this coming Friday. So, and a lot of my a lot of my friends have um, posted that their kids are moving on up to the next day. I've got a, a church, somebody we grew up with. He doesn't go to our church anymore, but he's still a friend. He's still a church friend. And um, his uh, middle daughter, he's got three girls, one's in college, and the next one now, she just, he posted today, she has completed 8th grade, and she's moving to high school next year. Like, whoa, she's growing. And I don't know where the, where the youngest one's at. But she's probably, she she's probably going to middle school, probably. She ain't but a few years younger. But Uh-oh, here comes the siren. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but sorry if you do hear it. Hang on just a second. I don't know if you'll hear it. The ambulance going by. <laughs> I'm sitting at I'm sitting at, at the doorway, so. But I want one before I let go. I wanted to let you know about these things. I was I went I'm going to read the letter. I got this little mailing from a organization called Church of God International out of Tyler, Texas. And they send me things every now and then. They've got, for the month of, uh, the April letter, they got this um, thing on, are the dietary laws of Leviticus 11 still in, in force today? Do New Testament writers state that formerly unclean meats are now clean and may be used for food? Find out. Request Mike James Sermon CD. The New Testament does not do away with the food laws. And it's, it sends a card like this. I don't know if you can see it or not. But if you go to uh, email, email info at cgi.org, and in the message, put you would like a copy of that CD. And use code one two twenty one sixteen April twenty twenty one 
and put in there you want the Mike James sermon CD, the free copy. And just do it like that. And then, and then every month you'll get another one. But And this other one I got just the other day, it's called What is the Un... It's talking about an article reading What is the Unpardonable Sin? Is there a sin that God will not forgive? If there is such a sin, what is it? And how can you avoid committing it? Request the article, What is the Unpardonable Sin? And if you do that, put in the thing uh, in your e when you email them, put in code UPD May 2021. So put the code UPD in there. Or... You can write a letter to them and get them to send it, send it to you, and that's what you use. So, but that's the article. But they give you a little letter, and it says, "Dear friends and brethren," and it gives you a little idea of what they're what they're trying to get you to send for. So, I just thought I'd give you that little bit of that. And then there's other organizations that I receive stuff from different places, different newsletters and stuff like that. It's a good read. I don't I don't mind it. And then there's st sometimes there's stuff that say there's a free book. Put in for the free book. Once you get the book, then you start getting a newsletter. I think that's what that was. So but with that said, sorry for the little rambling I took took I just took a few minutes to add that on in the end, but I wanted to read it all in the live stream, but I'm just trying to make this video longer, like a live stream, so it would feel like a live stream. But, like I said, peace out until tomorrow, everybody. Yeah. Please comment down below or on, on my Facebook what you thought of my outfit. Okay? Yeah. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.